In this short video, I am going to show you guys a pretty neat trick about how to know the credit or debit card type like for example if it is a visa card or if it belongs to mastercard etc just by knowing its card number. This can be done by comparing the input card number with the regular expressions which are specific to any card. If the card matches against the regular expression then you have found the card type. So you see every different card type has a specific format of its card number. When we have the regular expression for that format then we can use it to find the type of card. Some of the regular expressions for different card types can be found on this website whose link has been shared in the description of this video. For example for Visa this regular expression can be used for Mastercard this one and so on and so forth. This is a C-Sharp console application and the first thing that we can do is to read the card number from the console which can be done by using console.readline and then we will also need to remove all of the white spaces from the card number if there are any. And then let's just create the regular expression objects for let's say Visa, Mastercard, American Express etc. So what we can do is we can create new objects like this one Visa regex equals to new regex and then we can provide the regular expression which needs to be used if we want to find out if the card belongs to a visa type. So this regular expression can be used for visa and now I'm just going to copy and paste this for Mastercard and American Express. So this is for Mastercard and this is for American Express. The regular expression for Mastercard is kind of complicated than it is for Visa and American Express. The American Express one is a short one like this. So now we have the input card number, we have the regular expression and all that is left to do now is to compare this card number against this regular expression to find out which card number we have read. For that we can write a message to the console what card type it is. So console dot write line and then let's write string dot format to provide a message and is this card visa and we can provide a boolean value over here by comparing against the regular expression so if visa regex dot is match and then provide the card number so if this card number matches with the visa regular expression then this message should return with a true value otherwise the value should be false and now let's just run the code to see if it is working for this visa regular expression so Let's also write a console.readline to see our output. I am just going to paste a card number which is in Visa format. It is a sample card number, not really belongs to someone, so no need to worry about it. So the message is, is this card Visa and it's true. And now let's just type any other number like this over here. So is this card Visa? It's not because it is not matching with the regular expression. We can do the same for Mastercard and American Express. We just need to replace these names and the regular expression which is being used. So this should be Mastercard and this should be the Mastercard regular expression. This should be the American Express regex. American Express and now let's run it again. Let's provide the Mastercard number. So is this Visa? Nope, it's not. Is this Mastercard? Yes. Is this American Express? No, it's not. So this is American Express card number. So for Visa and MasterCard the value is false and for American Express it's true. So this is how we can compare the card number against regular expressions to find out to which card type they belong. But this kind of code is not really helpful for developers. So what we can do is we can create a system of class and enumeration to find out the card number in a meaningful way. So in our application first we can have an enumeration which is named constant. So the enum can be card type and it can have members for different card types like Visa, Mastercard, American Express and also not set because if the card number which is being provided is not matching with any of the irregular expressions then we should be able to know about it. So we also need another not set and then we can have a class and let's just call it card manager. So card manager. This card manager class can have a dictionary which will hold the map for the card type and the card's regular expression value. And we can initialize this card regular expression map dictionary inside the constructor like 
this over here this can be created into a new dictionary and then while creating it we can add its members like for visa we can provide its regular expression value for mastercard and american express 2 and for not set we are just going to keep it blank because it should match with every other card number and now let's just write a very simple method which will match the provided card number with all of these regular expressions to find out to which type the card belongs so let's create a new method and this should be public card type because it should return the card type enum so get card type this should accept the argument for the card number so let's just first create the field or variable which we need to return so card type equals to card type dot not set we should initialize it with not set and then let's just return it first so return card type and now we can iterate over all of the card type enum items to find out to which type the card number belongs and that can be done by calling a for each function and then for each card type type and let's just fetch all of the enum members so enum dot get values and over here we can provide the type of the enum so type of and the type is card type and then inside the body we can match by creating a new regular expression object for each iteration so if new reg x and then we can provide the regular expression by using this map this card reg exp map which we have created and populated in the constructor so if underscore card reg exp map and then provide the type as the key value so dot is match because this key will return a string value so that string value is the regular expression which we need to use for this current card type so if it is matching with the incoming card number then we have our match so what we can do is actually okay this one is extra so card type equals to this type and then we can simply break from this loop because we have found our match and we don't need to match any other card types now to use it i'm just going to comment out these lines over here and let's just create a new object for the card manager and now we can directly print on the console the type of the card number which we are reading from the console so the card type is card manager dot get card type and this will be converted into a string value because this is the string dot format function and that's pretty much it now let's just run the code and see if it is working or not so first let's just try the visa number this card type is visa now let's try mastercard this is also matching now let's try american express this is also matching and now let's just try a card number which should not match with any of the three card types which we have specified so the card type is not set because it is not matching with any of the available card types because this card type belongs to diners club and we have not specified the regular expression for diners club card type so this is how you can identify the type of card by just reading its card number from the input and this is a regular expression so this should be useful across many different languages not just c sharp language and that is all this video has to offer you guys do let me know what you think about it if you like the video then please like it and also hit the subscribe button doing that will make sure that you will always be the first one to receive new video updates and with that i'm going to take my leave and i will see you in the next video till then have a great time